everybody, thanks for tuning in to Golden Car Comics. This is John, and as the title of the video says, uh, I went and did some uh, summer convention Funko Pop hunting yesterday. Uh, to be honest with you, I got up at 1 in the morning. <clears throat> I had some successes online. I had, like, one failure online. Uh, so I'm going to put this out there. If anybody ended up with an extra Marvin from uh, Hot Topic... Uh, and you're wanting to trade or sell or something, give me a call or hit me up on Facebook or, or uh, of course, here on YouTube and let me know because I had him in my cart and then the website was just being all janky and then uh, by the time I got back to the site, uh, it was gone and sold out. So I did have some other successes online and when those come in, I'll show you. Uh, but right now, let me show you what I actually went out and was able to find. I was pretty happy. I, I bought pretty much just what I wanted. Uh, Cheyenne was kind of a gold mine for uh, Funko Hunters if you were looking for uh, con exclusives because there weren't a lot of people. I mean, there was no line at Barnes & Noble, no line at GameStop, uh, no line at FYE. So let me show you what I got. Of course, starting off with my GameStop haul, we've got the two-pack of R2-D2 and Holographic Princess Leia. Now, I was kind of surprised there is no sticker, and of course, maybe you just assume, but this Leia does glow in the dark. I checked it out last night, uh, just for a couple minutes, I put her under a light, went into a, a dark room, and she does glow. Uh, I'm guessing if I let her go under the light longer, she'll glow more, but she does glow, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, so we're going to start off with my GameStop haul, Leia and R2-D2. Then for my son, you know, one more piece closer to finishing his homecoming set. We got Tony Stark holding his uh, Iron Man helmet. Let me see if we get that there. There you go. Uh, so now the only thing he's missing is the Target 2-pack exclusive. Again, if anybody's Target has one, hit me up. Let me know because uh, my Target sucks and never got it. I don't think they've got a new Funko Pop in quite some time, actually. Uh, but there you go. Also from GameStop, and I was really excited for this one because I'm a big Darkwing Duck fan, but I got me a Negatron, who also glows in the dark. That was just cool. And then I picked up the Suicide Squad Batman Joker. That was cool. I actually got two of those because my son said that he wanted one of his own. He does collect Batman. Uh, he doesn't have the other Batman Joker that was in the loot crate uh, several, several months ago. Uh, but he said he liked it the way they did it this time, so I picked him up one and I got one because my GameStop, th there was no line. I walked in and the manager, uh, Paul, who is a great guy, he's like, you're the second person, you're only the second person to come in uh, looking for the con exclusives. And it was already like 10.30 maybe 10:45, and they had opened at 10 uh, anyway uh, so I so he's cool Batman, Joker I could have done without the braces I mean I wasn't a big fan of the Jared Leto Joker but uh, this this makeup is is, uh, is pretty cool and last but not least from GameStop obviously I'm collecting the animated series and they had man bat um, cool figure. They didn't have a lot of these. I think they only had a couple, like maybe three or four, as opposed to the, the Joker and Tony Stark and Princess Leia and R2-D2. They had maybe like ten of each of those. They only had like four of the Man Bat. So I was real happy to get one. So that was all GameStop. GameStop had most of the ones I was wanting, so I was pretty happy. Uh, again, the only one I wanted from Hot Topic was Marvin the Martian, and I missed out. So, I'll just throw it out there again. Uh, next, we got Barnes & Noble. And uh, continuing my flocked Dr. Seuss collection, got myself a flocked Lorax. Because when my son was little, he loved the movie, he liked the book. It's just a memory. There it is. There's probably going to be like a whole bunch of these scattered around. Uh, in fact, when I uh, I actually went to uh, Barnes & Noble yesterday at 9 when they opened, 
And then I actually had to go back there last night for a meeting, and they still have plenty of Loraxes uh, on the table. So, but I've got them. I wanted them. That's all that matters. And next after him, keeping with a flock tradition, got my flock Tigger to go with my flock Winnie the Pooh. Also, for whatever reason, uh, I was that was my nickname in high school. It was Tigger. Uh, this really great girl named Ramona. Uh, yeah, one day, my sophomore year, she just uh, called me Tigger, and it stuck for three years. Three years. Um, okay, I make it sound bad. Actually, I was pretty happy with it. It's cool. All right, so Flock Tigger. Then, because so I'm thinking about collecting glow in the dark pops, I really am. But I picked up the Masters of the Universe uh, Scare Glow. Now, uh, apparently he was really, really popular. I didn't know. I don't really have. I, I don't have any of the other Masters of the Universe, pop, Universe pops. I picked this one up because he glows. Um, again, uh, at the beginning of the day, they had a whole bunch. Uh, when I went back in the evening for my meeting, uh, there were two left. And they were both beat up boxes, which is probably why they were left. Uh, but anyway, this one's really, really nice because I picked this up in the morning. And they changed the rules like twice in the morning. I don't know if you went to get, uh, Barnes & Noble, but when I first walked in, it's like you could have two pops. And I'm like, two of each kind because you've got like seven different pops on here. And they're like, no, two pops total. I'm like, well, that blows. And then while I was there, I said, I got my two pops because I actually, the first things I bought were Tigger and uh, Lorax, and then while I was getting coffee, they came back and said, oh, we've, we've changed it, you could get like uh, two of each. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So anyway, so I got Scare Glow, and back I got uh, my Scare Glow. And I got the Tick, my Glow in a Dark Tick. I did like the cartoon, uh, the Tick, and he glows, so it, it just worked. Um, he was completely gone uh, for when, when I went back in the evening. The tick was completely gone. And last but not least for my Comic-Con haul, uh, like I actually went to San Diego Comic-Con, but went to FYE. Now, if you're familiar, FYE had a Betty Rebel Rock Candy, not into the Rock Candies. They had a Flocked Chip and Dale, and then the one I was looking for, they had my Wonder Twins. I was so thrilled. Uh, they had like six of them, and a couple of the boxes were kind of janky. Uh, they had like black stains up in here or something or whatever. This box is really nice. I went through a couple that they had. I was the second person in line, and I, so I was able to get a nice one. But I got them, Zan, Jaina, and Gleek. Uh, kind of my childhood in a box right here. I used to watch the Super Friends cartoon, and I remember when they transitioned from Wendy and Marvin and Wonder Mutt to Zan, Jaina, and Gleek, and that was just great, so I was really happy to get them. 40 bucks, though. Um, I, I was kind of, like, really, really surprised with a $40 price tag on those three. Uh, I was just watching Stephen Higgins' video where he went out uh, con hunting, and he mentioned, he goes, oh, well, he paid $30 for this one, and, uh, yeah, $30 is a lot. So, I, then... You know, you think about forty dollars for that. They added ten dollars for Gleek, all by himself, and he's he's tiny. He's not he's not a really big pop, but basically they added ten dollars for him. Uh, but you know what? I had it. <laughs> Obviously, I bought everything. Uh, and uh, there you go. That is my summer con haul. We'll go ahead and put lay out there. No, we won't. But um, those were, like I said, I bought basically the ones I wanted. Uh, they're actually, the GameStop here still has a bunch of stuff left over as of last night. Uh, the Barnes & Noble, I think, still had like a Tigger and a whole bunch of Harry Potter. So, uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for uh, tuning in to my channel. And, hey, take a moment, subscribe, or, you know, at least go back and watch some of my other videos. I've noticed that some of my earlier videos are really starting to go up there in the view count. So, I really appreciate you guys going back and watching those. Uh, if you were a Funko Pop collector uh, and you went out hunting yesterday, let me know how you did. Let me know how you did online because, uh, like, every website was screwed up. Box Lunch, uh, Hot Topic, 
Barnes & Noble crashed, I mean, completely. Uh, so I'm glad my store had everything I wanted. But anyway, um, let me know what you're able to pick up. Let me know what you're looking for. Maybe I could help you out. Until then, this is John. This is Golden Car Comics. And I'll be getting back to you soon.